So we saw how the nucleophile strength impacted SN2 reaction rate, um, while leaving group uh, ability also impacts SN2 reaction rate. So first of all, what is a leaving group? Um, the leaving group is whatever leaves the organic molecule. So um, in these down here, these, this example, uh, fluorine and chlorine are the things that left. They are the leaving group. And just like we related nucleophile strength to the stability of the conjugate base or of the base itself, I remember nucleophile strength was proportional to um, base strength. The stronger base is a stronger nucleophile. We're going to do the same thing when it comes to leaving groups. Um, a better leaving group is comparably blank stable when it leaves. Uh, well, if something leaves, it must be pretty stable by itself, right? So um, it's, it's comparably more stable when it leaves. Um, so the, the better leaving group is going to be more stable by itself. Better leaving groups are blank bases. Better leaving groups have blank conjugate acids. Better leaving groups are blank stable anions. Um, go ahead and take a minute. Pause the video. Try and fill those in for yourself. Relate them to acid-base chemistry. Relate them to what we talked about with nucleophile strength. Um, okay, boop, you did that. You came back. Um, better leaving groups are not reactive by themselves. They're weak. They're weaker bases. They are weaker bases. Better leaving groups have blank conjugate acids. Well, if you're a weak base, you came from a strong conjugate acid. So they have strong, they came from strong conjugate acids. Better leaving groups are blank stable anions. So when we're comparing two different anions, they're the more stable anion, right? Better leaving groups are more stable anions. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing that we did with nucleophiles with leaving groups. What's the faster reaction? We have two reactions down here. They have the same nucleophile. It's a generic Nu minus, so it could be OH minus. It could be um, O minus with a, a carbon tail on it. Same nucleophile. Only thing different is the leaving group. So which leaving group is a better leaving group? Uh, well, let's think about the periodic table real quick. So the periodic table has fluorine right here and chlorine right here. Um, so um, take a minute. Decide for yourself which is the better leaving group. Rationalize it for yourself and then come back. All right. You did that. So the better leaving group is the weaker base. It's the more stable anion. So which of these is a more stable anion? Um, well, uh, when things are in the same group, what we learned in that acid-base chapter was that if they're in the same group, if they're in the same column of the periodic table, the larger surface area is what makes it more stable. So chlorine is, is farther down. It has a larger surface area than fluorine. So chlorine is actually more stable by itself. So this is more stable than F minus because of that increased surface area. Um, we can also do the same rationalization uh, as far as their, their base strength as we did previously. So this would come from HCl and this would come from HF. Our problem here is that we do know this pKa. It was on the chart. What's the pKa? You should be able to tell me. Oh yeah, yeah. I think I heard you. Uh, it's Negative seven, I think. It was kind of hard to hear you from all of this hair blocking my eardrum. Um, problem here is HF. We don't actually know HF's pKa. HF's pKa is, is kind of an unknown. Um, it, it's known in reality, but not. it's not on that table. The pKa of that is three. So this is the stronger acid. We could have figured that out based on our qualitative reasoning. And that qualitative reasoning was based on the anion um, stability and, and a more stable anion is the more uh, spread out negative charge, which is why chlorine was more stable than fluorine. Uh, chloride is more stable than fluoride. Um, so 
Again, we relate it to acid-base chemistry. We're going to see another example right now. All right, we're here for our next example. Also, I didn't officially say it on the last slide. I mean, it was very much implied based on what we said here. Um, but the, the bottom one, the one with the Cl leaving group, was the faster reaction because Cl minus was more stable by itself. What about these ones? Um, so we have fluorine as our leaving group versus OH2. Um, so which of them is the better leaving group? Um, well, uh, we would compare the stability of H2O versus F minus. And how are we going to compare those two? Um, so think about that for a second. I'm going to do a little bit of reorienting the board. And then, so pause it while I do that, and then come back. I reoriented the board by just putting in the text on the bottom of page five on here. Um, F minus the conjugate acid. So, so we're trying to figure out which of these is the better leaving group, fluorine versus OH2 plus. Um, and what we have to figure out is, is which of them is more stable by themselves. And we know that we can relate their stability to um, acid-base chemistry. That's what we've been doing all along. Um, so F minus is conjugate acid is HF. H2O's conjugate acid is H3O plus. Um, HF, we just learned uh, in, the, in the previous example that it's, it has a pKa of 3. And this one, you guys should know. What's the, what's the pKa of H3O plus, hydronium ion? Yeah, good job. It's minus 1.7. So this is the stronger acid, which means that this is what? The better or worse leaving group. Drop down your idea, better or worse. Stronger acid means that the conjugate base is more stable, meaning it's the better leaving group. So this is the better leaving group. So this was the faster reaction. So, um, so that's the process there. Um, and uh, so now we've related both the leaving group ability and the nucleophilicity to acid-base chemistry. So again, why was acid-base chemistry so important for organic chemistry? We're going to use it throughout both semesters to really evaluate the strength of nucleophiles, leaving groups, etc. So, um, so yeah, so hopefully this, this made a lot of sense because you guys had such strong foundations in acid-base chemistry.